Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Ashok from TechieB and today I'll be showing you how can you install MIUI 9 on your Xiaomi Mi A1 device. So guys this was one of the difficult tasks for developers to get this ROM ported on Mi A1 but now they have ported minor bugs are there which will be rectified in upcoming builds. So as you can see here this is a software information MIUI 9 version 8.4.12 this is in beta version and here model number is different so don't go with the model number let me show you the device for your confirmation and here you can see android 1 this is my mi a1 installation of this rom is completely different so make sure you follow all the steps which i'll be performing in this video and if you have any kind of questions do let me know in the comment section below so i've already installed it on my device first of all what you need to do is you need to visit the xda page all the links are given in the description below from there you need to download the files and files which I'll tell you you need to download those files and here you can see on my PC these are the four files which are required to install this ROM once you have downloaded you can go here on XDA page and from here you can download all the files like this is a ROM file which I have used TWRP backup and later you need to have user data image file so download all these files place it in one folder make sure you are placing it inside the adb folder where you have adb folder placed and i have made a separate folder inside adb that's a subfolder mi a1 under this i have placed mi ui where i have all the files which are required to install this room so for this you need to have twrp recovery installed on your device if you guys are not aware about installing twrp recovery then you can follow this video guide where i have given all the steps to install TWRP recovery and root your device. So once you have TWRP recovery installed, what you need to do is you need to power off your device. Once your device is powered off, now you need to boot your device into TWRP recovery. I have already installed TWRP recovery. If, then hold the volume up key and power key together. Once your screen lights up, release these buttons. And before doing anything make sure you take a backup of your device and place it somewhere on your pc do not keep it inside your internal memory because this method will wipe your internal memory and you will lose your data so make sure you select all the partitions inside the backup folder over here go to backup select all the partitions take a backup and place it inside your pc so that if anything goes wrong you can recover it from there so i won't be performing backup over here because i've already taken it First of all, what you need to do is once your device boots into TWRP recovery, you need to copy the ROM file and the MAGISK file inside your internal memory. Copy both of them and place it inside internal memory. Once you have copied these files, you can just try to locate those files. And here you can see one is a ROM file, another one is a MAGISK file. Before installing those two things, go to wipe, advanced wipe, wipe everything from here excluding internal memory. Swipe to wipe. Once it is done, go back, go to install and install the ROM file. And once you have successfully installed, then you need to install the MAGISK file that is 16.0. So I've used 16.0. Make sure you guys also use 16.0. Flash this file. Once Magis has been flashed successfully, then go back. Here, do not reboot your device. Instead, you need to reboot your device into bootloader. So select bootloader and select do not install. Once a device boots into bootloader or fast boot mode, go to your PC and in this same folder where you have user data file, you need to open command prompt here. So for that, what you need to do is in address bar type CMD and hit enter. After you're done with that, and now you need to flash this file so use this command that is fastboot flash user data user data dot img it's an image file so make sure you use img over here once you're done with that hit enter and this process will take hardly 16 to 17 seconds once you are done now you need to boot your device so you have successfully flashed the room so now to boot your device you need to use command fastboot reboot and hit enter now your device will boot up 
so your device will now boot up and should have miui 9 available on your device but you won't be able to complete the initial setup so for that once your device has been successfully booted you need to again go to twrp recovery so from here power off the device and once it is powered off hold volume up and power key together so once your device is back into TWRP recovery, now what you have to do here is you need to take a backup from here. So backup the complete ROM including EFS, swipe to backup. And once the backup is completed, connect your device to your PC and open up your internal storage. So as I open up over here and now go to TWRP recovery, backup and locate the file which you have backed up. So copy this file from here and paste it in the same ADB folder where you have other data available. Paste it here. Meanwhile you paste this folder over here that is a backup folder. You need to extract this file. This is a data file or the backup file which we have downloaded from here. So as you can see this was the file which we have downloaded. This is a TWRP backup and once you have downloaded that now extract this file so once you have extracted this file which we recently downloaded from xda page so you'll have these four files available inside the directory so copy these four files and go back so this was a backup which we copied from the internal memory open this backup file and paste those four files here give permission replace the file in the destination once you are done with that now you need to again copy the same backup file from here and paste it inside the internal memory of your device so go to internal storage twrp recovery backup this folder and paste it over here so here again select do this for all current items and select yes so this will replace the current backup which we have done So once you have copied the backup file again inside the internal storage, the files which we have replaced, now you need to go to wipe, advanced wipe, select everything from here, excluding internal storage. Swipe to wipe. And once it is done, go back. And now you need to restore the backup which we have replaced inside the backup folder. So restore this, swipe to restore. And once you are done with restoring the data, after that you need to delete these folders which I have mentioned in the description below or else you can visit the XDA page to check out which all folders need to be deleted. To delete those folders, what you need to do is go to mount, select system from here. So select system, go back, go to advanced, go to file manager and now go to system. So under system, you will again see a folder named as system. Here you will find the first folder which is called as app go inside this and delete all the files which have been mentioned on xda page or in the description below so i'll delete all the files one by one and after that we'll reboot the device So now I have deleted all the files and once you have deleted then you can just hit reboot system. Your device should boot up in somewhere around 2 to 3 minutes. So as you can see the device boots up and now you have MIUI 9 available on your MIA1 device. So guys this way you can install the ROM on MIA1 and if you have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below. For the complete review, stay tuned, I'll get a complete review by tomorrow, what are the bugs inside this ROM and is it okay to be used as daily driver. So for that, stay tuned guys, as of now, only this much in this video and hope you like the video. If you like the video, do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.